Happy Friday, y'all. Alex here. It's a chilly uh, Friday, December the 9th, 2022. And here I am walking north on Winford Drive, just north of Eglinton Avenue East. Yes, it is right behind me. Got off the 34A. And I could have checked the, 30, the 34C because it comes directly here, but uh, I missed it. So I had to take the stairs down from uh, the stop, which was, which was just before uh, Winford. There's the... 100A Flemington Park. Yes, we are in the Flemington Park neighborhood neighborhood here in the North York Borough in the somewhat east end of Toronto. So I thought I would do a little video, uh, just me walking pretty much all of Winford Drive all the way to where it ends at Don Mills Road. What's the temperature outside? It's on and off chilly though, but I think it's one Celsius. No, it's zero Celsius. It feels like minus six. I do not know what that is in Fahrenheit. There's going to be there's one of the buses I'm going to be taking to get back to uh, downtown. One of my long-awaited routes I wanted to film. So this part of the uh, neighborhood is filled with high-density high-rises, apartments, condos. And there's also more of that uh, south of Eglinton. But yes, the reason why I'm wearing a mask is because I feel like it's freaking chilly. So, I mean, when you're at when you're at zero Celsius, that means it's freezing, though. So, oh look, there's a hotel around the corner, the Toronto Don Valley Hotel and Suites, and it's the beginning of uh, afternoon rush hour, I believe. Yes, it is. It's 3:22. I could have been here a bit earlier though, but uh, I want to go to downtown and check out the Eden Center and uh, the bay and I'll probably film a walking video at night. In a couple of minutes though, Winford Drive will bend over to the west, so. And for some reason it becomes Aga Khan Boulevard, yes. It's, I think it's. I think part of it was renamed to Aga Khan because of a nearby Aga Khan museum. It's a museum of uh, Muslim, Iranian, and Middle Eastern culture. I only thought I was doing this walking video this morning. I wanted to at least film a bus ride on the 34 route since I don't. Since I've only done it once, actually not twice. I did the 32 more than the 34. Uh, buses and there's an on-ramp to the Don Valley Parkway which is to the uh, west of here and this area is predominantly in the Don Mills and Eglinton intersection I don't think we're gonna have to worry about when the next 100 bus is coming because it's a very frequent uh, Ugh, it's a very frequently used route. Look, there's a there's another bus coming. I should not have to worry. And there's the 34C. That's the bus I missed. But despite that I missed that, I still got here first with the 34A. I, I like it's interesting because uh, is that 86? Yes, it is. 86.23 it took that long just to loop around. <laughs> I think it's a good idea I came here with the 34A. Look at that. Here's another one. Oh no, that was head to Eglinton Station. Just coming up from the deep end of Flemington Park. Look at that! There's there's the, the corporate office for McDonald's Canada! I completely forgot it was here. There's Concord Place. Oh yeah, I, I forgot, this becomes Concord Place now. Both the 34C and 100 routes, they just loop around, so now we have to walk west. Not sure why I just had to cross over here. I thought, I thought this continues, but look at this, guys. The McDonald's corporate office. Speaking of that, I had McDonald's yesterday at the 
Warden and Eglinton location in the Golden Mile. And then right after that, I, I caught uh, uh, the testing of the uh, Eglinton L um, light rail vehicles for the third time ever, except I actually saw three. However, one, however I kind of missed one, so only two made into a video that I filmed, of course. This might be a short video since Winford Drive is relatively short. Again, just look how many buses, 100 buses are going to be seeing. And there's a Don Valley Parkway, and yes, the DVP is referred to as the Don Valley Parking Lot by some locals because it is very notorious for its amount of traffic jams, overcrowding, especially at rush hour. It gets even worse. It gets worse around here. So let's see how bad this traffic is heading north. As I mentioned, we're in the North York Borough. I don't know why I decided to cross over here. Alga Khan is on the other side. I've never been there before, but my dad has. Oh shit! Look at that, guys. A CN Tower view. Fuck. Mind you, I've never been here on foot before. Okay, we have to do the best we can here. Zoom in. Look at that, guys. Okay, even though I'm on the other side, it's it's still worth it. Yep, I'll be heading back. I'll be heading to downtown after this. And there it is, a Don Valley Parkway. Northbound lanes are kind of clogging up. Again, I think it gets worse like around five-ish because it's like the height of it, but might as well be. Okay, so they haven't uh, changed the signs because on Google Maps, they just eh, they just named it Aga Combo. Or anyway, I don't care. It's one for a drive, so I'm fine with that. I'm gonna cross over to the other side at some point because the 100 bus. It's pretty much on the other side of where I need to catch it, so... There it is. I think the museum and park opened in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so now we got some offices here. Yeah. Look at this bell! There's a bell building here. There's actually one right just steps away from where I live on Riddell Avenue. I think it's not uncommon to see uh, the many bell offices here in Toronto. <sighs> Garmon Court. And Fle by the way, Fleming Park is pretty much a middle class neighborhood. Though it's been underserved as a. Uh, you know, a community where where a lot of the uh, low-income families live, at least like south of the intersection. So that's why, just like Thorncliffe Park, which is all, which is to the south, the residents have been advocating for better transit because it's been like pretty much underserved. But here, along Winford Drive, it's especially important for employment opportunities right here. Look, Scotiabank on the right. I did not know I'd be seeing a lot of familiar faces here. And yet I've never walked here on foot before, ever. And there it is. Oh no, Garmon Court is right there. Scotiabank Winford Campus. I'm assuming this is not the head office, but more like just like the McDonald's one back there, the, corp the uh, corporate office. I like this. Got a mix of uh, the good old residential and the nature stuff. Oh, look at that, the McDonald's logo. Yes, there's the Maple Leaf 
seen on every McDonald's restaurant in Canada. Oh yeah, never mind, there it is, so... That's another name for it, but of course to me it's always going to be Winford Drive. I feel like crossing over to the other side, but... You know what? Let's do that. I haven't done this yet, but we're going to zoom in on the street sign. And no, we're not allowed to jaywalk at a intersection. And this, of course, I forgot to mention, this neighborhood will be served by the uh, Aga Khan LRT station, which of course is on line five. Again, Eglinton Avenue East is just to the south of here. And also Science Center Station, which will be the main core for transit. Because it's going to have a, a big-ass bus terminal. And it's going to connect to the future Ontario subway line. And then it'll serve the, the deep ends of uh, Flemington Park. Again, technically this is Flemington Park. I just, I just consider this because you know how close it is. Look at this. The Canadian flag, the Ontarian flag, and the City of Toronto municipal flag. Right next to what looks to be a Middle Eastern flag as well. If you guys, if you guys could tell me... Oh! I think this is... Is this the... Uh, I can't even... can't remember what country that is, that is. Let me know what it is in the comments down below. There's a Canada Post Distribution Center. I didn't I don't didn't really know there was one here. I know there's one on Eastern Avenue. Or Lakeshore Boulevard. And there's a couple more. I can't remember where the rest are. And uh No, that's not Don Mills Road up ahead. After the Lob Laws that it that will be Don Mills for sure. And there's Eglinton Avenue in the distance. Very near distance. Is that another 34C bus? Yes, it is. Okay, the 34C, again, just goes goes right into Flemington Park. Then turns around at Grenoble and Spanbridge, bleh, Sp Spanbridge Drive. And then it just loops around back to Concord Place. And then off it goes. The same thing with the 100 bus. It's going to serve this, uh, this community very well when the Line 5 opens, especially the Ontario Line. Hey, I see a freight train in the distance. CP Rail. All right, there's Don Mills Road at the end. Since I've been filming for 13 minutes, and Eglinton is just in the south of here, I'm just gonna keep filming. Um, maybe I'll end up by showing you guys the, uh, the completed Science Center station bus terminal. Okay, here's the, this is the first time I have seen a 100 bus going this way. Don't think I'm gonna be able to catch it in time, though. But, okay, so it's gonna turn here at Gervais Drive. I think that's a silent, and then up on Eglinton, and then uh, up on Don Mills Road. Yes, I'm wearing gloves, even though one hole is just burst. Yeah, there's a superstore here, owned by President's Choice. Look at that, another typical glass office building. I like these type of uh, designs though. I bet you most of these offices were built sometime in the, what, 80s, 90s? I don't know.
I've never been to this superstore before. I've been to the one on Weston Road at 401, on the other side of North York, and at uh, Dufferin and Steels. Looks like over there they're building, starting to build more uh, condos, which, you know, I approve of because, you know, this area is kind of underserved. Sometimes. Well, well, it's been underserved. You know, a lot of people have been advocating for better transit and uh, affordable housing. And Don Mills Road, I've only done a walking video on that street once. That was back in May on a Sunday afternoon. It was very hot. And I went from Lawrence all the way down here. And we did it. We walked the entirety of Winford Drive. I think I'm gonna see those same people on the 100 bus. We'll see. But yes, it's already good. It's already busy here. As it's the rat race. Whoa, what the fuck? That scared the hell out of me. Oh, it's because of this guy right there. Because he was kind of like into the lane right there. Wow. Shitty drivers. They're pretty common here in the city. And just down the street from here is the Ontario Science Center. Okay, let's see if I'm gonna catch that 100 bus that's just looping around, unless it's probably laying over. Okay, there's people waiting. Is it for the 25? It's probably for the 25 bus. Yes, there's a 925 right there. It's express route. Ah, uh, yeah, I see, there's another bus coming. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna miss this one intentionally. Hey, okay, when I was when I was doing the walking video here, none of this was here. Look at it now. All right, I'm waiting. Oh, don't tell me there's another one too. Yes, another one. Oh God. I'll quickly show you guys the uh, Science Center bus terminal and then uh, we're going to sign off. Of course my battery's at two bars now. Nothing. Here it is guys, here's the Science Center station. It's gonna be huge when it opens, believe me. And there is the bus terminal. Okay, maybe it's not so huge, but it's about as huge as it can be. Right there. And uh, there's again the uh, city skyline in the distance. I missed three buses intentionally. Just so I can uh, show you guys it, but well, that's it, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Oh, now my hands are freezing now. Oh God. Well, as I'm saying, uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my members as well. If you want to support the channel, feel free to hit the super thanks button below the video or check out the link to my PayPal at the about section of my page. Your support or donation would be uh, really appreciated. You guys, stay warm and uh, stay safe and happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And yes, it's mid-December <laughs> mid December already. Christmas is coming in almost two weeks. Bye guys. Adios. Actually, one more zoom here at the uh, tower, even though it's partially obstructed by the tree. And it's out of focus.